Welcome back to our channel and thank you all for tuning in and thank you all for supporting us. And we shall continue to bring you the latest news as they happen. But if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so. My brothers and my sisters, please let us work together with our great leader, Mazen Namdekanu, IPOB, and Eastern Security Network. To make our Biafran dream a reality is a... It is a very big victory for Biafrans. You know, a very big one indeed. Twitter deleted the post where the Nigerian presidency, Fulani Nigerian presidency, tweeted that those misbehaving today are too young to be aware of the destruction of loss of life that occurred during the Nigerian Civil War. Those of us in the field in 30 months who went through the war, we treat them in language. They understand. Twitter deleted the post because they said it violates their rule. It is a genocide statement. And Twitter, you know, they took it down. They took it down without looking back. They took it down. But the Nigerian government, the full and Nigerian government, are crying like a baby. They are whining like a baby. Because they have seen that Biafra freedom is real. It's real. They have, it is now glaring to them that the world leaders are working towards the freedom of their friends. That is what is happening. According to the Minister of Information and Culture, one of the biggest liars in Nigeria, Lai Mohammed, who reacted to the tweet deletion at the end of the Federal Executive Council meeting at the Presidential Villa Abuja, he wondered why Twitter would delete President Buhari's post without doing the same to the inciting one that has been posted by our great leader, Mazi Namdekanu, the leader of IPOB. He alleged that the role of Twitter in Nigeria is suspect, noting that the social media platform also backed opponents of the government during the NSAS protests. You know, what Twitter did proves that the Fulani Nigerian government will be held accountable for all the murders and all the killings in Biafra land. They will account for it. They will never go scot-free. They will all account for it because the international community are waiting for them. Every atrocity they committed in Biafra land, they will account for it. Since 1967, they've been committing atrocities. They have massacred over 5 million Biafrans, and they think that the whole world will look the other way. They won't. You know, the former governor of Ekiti State, Fayoshe mocked the Nigerian Fulani presidency. He said, and I quote, When will the president use his power as the commander-in-chief to show Twitter Pepe? <laughs> he thinks it is in Nigeria where they, they can uh, use the compromised Nigerian news media to do their bidding. This is not Nigerian news media that can be bribed or that can be intimidated. The last time they tried to intimidate uh, Twitter, that was in, uh, during the NSAS protest. You know, they tried to intimidate Twitter by suing Twitter. But when they saw that, that would not work. It backfired. They quickly begged Twitter for forgiveness. They begged. They think the whole world does not know what the Fulani Janjaweed are doing in Biafra land. 
the whole world has seen, and the time has come to hold them accountable. You know, after the whole world saw, you know, how Biafrans obeyed the sit-at-home order by IPOB, 100% compliance, that was when they started taking Biafrans very serious. They took Biafra serious. And that was why the Twitter had to take the action against the Janjaweed Nigerian government. You know, they keep saying it's the Nigerian president. There's no president in Nigeria. There is none. It's just gang of thieves and rogues calling themselves presidency that are you know, exercising the power of the late Buhari. They are the ones. You know, those exercising power in Nigeria, using the late Buhari's name, don't know when and where to stop. And that is why they are called Janjaweed. Because they lack wisdom. They lack wisdom. They don't know what to do. They are desperate robbers. They are desperate, stealing from one end to the other, looting. The important thing is that they should just own up and allow Biafra to go. The imposter at Tassel Rock does not even know. He does not even know how to operate a cell phone. He, he can't operate it. He can't even dial a number. He doesn't know how to dial it. Talk less of uh, operating uh, his Twitter handle. Does he even know what Twitter is? He doesn't even know. That is why he cried out. Because they are putting all the blame on him. And he said he was not the one. He doesn't even know how to operate phone. It was Gal Bashewu the de facto president, and the Fulani lapdog, Femi Adesino, and the Migate in Kaduna, Governor Erofai, and their terrorist special advisor, Adamu Gaba. They are the one handling the presidency Twitter handle. They are the one. You know, they are doing that based on instruction from Meyeti Allah. Meyeti Allah will instruct them what to do, what to say in the tweet, and they will tweet it and, you know, to deceive the whole world that Buhari tweeted this. Whereas there is no Buhari, even the imposter does not even know. He does not know. And that is why he cried out, please, oh, I don't even know how to operate phone. Talk less of using Twitter. He doesn't know it. Because in Niger Republic, where they brought him from, he was a full Ani man. He was rearing cow. All he knows about is how to rear cow. And they now brought him to, to, to use him as a Buhari's imposter. You know, what Twitter did was, you know, it's a good thing. It proves that the full and Nigerian government will be held responsible and accountable. The federal government of Nigeria says it is suspecting the activity of Twitter following its decision to delete President Mohamed Buhari's tweet referencing the civil war. In the first place, there is no Buhari. It was Gaba Shewu and Adeshino that sent the tweet. Buhari and had in a series of tweets on his verified Twitter handle said so many genocide statements. And, you know, and the Nigerian government has accused Twitter of double standard. They think they can intimidate Twitter. They can't. Twitter is not a compromised Nigerian news media like uh, Punch, Daily Trust, and the uh, channels and the rest, 
where they can just tell them what to do. If you refuse, they place a ban on them or a big fine on them. That is what they're doing. Or they threaten companies not to use them for advertisements so they don't get revenue. That is what they are doing. According to the Nigerian government, he said Twitter may have its own rule. It is not the universal rule. But when they are killing and maiming Biafrans, they don't want others to talk. But thank God that the whole world has seen the truth. And they are now reacting. It is a very good news for Biafra. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. Thank you for supporting our channel. Please watch out for the next and bye-bye for now.